Um, welcome everybody in the room and in, on, in our virtual room as well. My name is Lucy Earle. I'm a clinical researcher in the Human Settlements Group at IID in London. Um, IID is the International Institute for Environment and Development and we're um, a research institute. Um, the title of this panel is actually quite long, I'll put on the slides, I'm going to read it out for you. So it's a world without camps. Understanding the potential for refugees and IDPs to achieve their being and decent livelihoods in urban areas. So this is an intentionally provocative um, title to the panel, the idea of the world without camps. And I should say we are fully aware of the political and structural incentives that surround the building of camps. But we are in the main, I'd say, a group of urbanists. And we are striving to change the narrative around where displaced people are seen to belong and how urban refugees and IDPs are perceived. You also need to know that as a panel, we all know each other quite well. Um, we've been part of the same research team since February 2020, when we began a project together funded by UK's Global Challenges Research Fund. So the full title of the project is also quite long. <laughs> it's Out of Camp or Out of Sight? Realigning Responses to Protracted Displacement in an Urban World. And we have a website, which you can see at the bottom, the Protracted Displacement.org and our little logo. We tend to call ourselves PDUB, um, Protracted Displacement in an Urban World. So I'm going to introduce, introduce everyone as they, in terms of they present their papers, but you can see the institutions represented here. So we have Cardiff University, Dilla University in Ethiopia, <clears throat> University of Maseno in, in Kenya, the Hashemite University of Jordan, Samuel Hall, Shack Dwellers International in Kenya, Women's Refugee Commission. So apparently if I touch the screen, it's going to just move on. Is that right? It's all slide. Like, have to slide. Oh, okay. Oh, sliding. <laughs> um, so where are we coming from with this research project? So we know that the majority of the world's displaced in urban areas, and we know that refugees and IDPs in the global south are likely to end up in informal settlements living alongside the urban poor, either on arrival or after their assets are depleted. We know that it seems, <laughs> there's not very much detail on this, but the majority of donor funding and attention is focused on refugees and IDPs in camps. And research has tended to follow suit, although in the past decade, there has been some increasing research on um, the urban displaced. So IID and its partners have long histories of working on urban informality, urban poverty, and local governance issues in development contexts. So for IID, this project looking at uh, humanitarian um, situations is a little bit different. But and through new collaborations with displacement expert, experts, we're seeking to refocus attention on urban displacement and redress this imbalance. Um, Patricia, could you do your... Oh, my thing. Do you mind? Thank you. <laughs> So there are three main aims of this project, to build an evidence base for national and local governments, humanitarian agencies and donors on the opportunities and challenges of hosting displaced people in camps and urban areas. I, I need to promote an assessment of current responses to urban protected displacement, <coughs> so raising awareness of unmet need, and building the capacity of municipal authorities, displaced people, organisations, the urban poor and other local actors to use participatory planning to underpin development-based solutions to cause displacement. <laughs> so our approach, so this is a mixed methods comparative study, um, and you're going to hear some very preliminary results today from um, a couple of our speakers, um, and you'll, we'll talk through the survey, uh, focus group discussions, and some of our qualitative methods. It's looking at two core concepts of well-being and economies of displaced people in camps and urban areas. And we do have an urban bias, so we hope to demonstrate the potential of urban areas to provide a welcoming and productive environment in which displaced people can live with dignity. As I said, we are trying to change the focus of attention on refugees and think about how urban areas could be better places for those for APs and refugees. So um, I think my, it's my last slide, and then <laughs> Patricia no longer has to do this for me. So the fieldwork locations. Um, so it's rather poor quality map there. Um, also, um, we have uh, been affected by some considerable political upheaval in the countries where we're working. But uh, in Kenya, we're doing research in Nairobi and Dadaab. In Ethiopia, we've already had to change the location once with Addis Ababa, and we, uh, we have actually gathered data in a SETA camp in the Afar region. In Jordan, this is Amman and Zatari. It was originally Al Azraq camp, um, but that's no longer possible. And uh, we've been working in Afghanistan, in Jalalabad, and in Barakar settlement, which is an IDP plan settlement just outside of Kabul. So we kicked off this research project at the same time as the pandemic basically got, got hold of, of Europe. Um, the British government this year then tried to cut our budget by 70%, that was 7-0, as part of the reduction to overseas aid. 
As I mentioned, our fieldwork plans have been affected by conflict and political turmoil in Ethiopia and Afghanistan and by security considerations. But we are still here. <laughs> and we are just over halfway through the project. I guess we, we are delayed. We have gathered less data than we hope you would by now, but we've, we've made considerable strides this year, as you will hear. And we're starting to get preliminary results. 